Hello, my name is Stefan Yovanovich, and I'm the Digital Services Librarian here at Willard Library, and welcome to Apps, Tips, and Tricks, where we learn how to use some of Willard Library's popular digital services, which are free to use for any Willard Library cardholder. Today, I will be going over the basics of how to create an account and borrow materials using the Hoopla app and website. Hoopla is a streaming service that offers a vast collection of ebooks, e audiobooks, comics, TV shows, movies, music, and more, all for free with your Willard Library card. What you will need to create an account is your Willard Library card number, PIN number, and a valid email address. If you don't know your PIN number, feel free to give us a call and we can confirm your PIN number for you over the phone. Otherwise, it's typically the last four digits of your phone number. Now let's get started. Let's first search for and install the Hoopla app from your device's app store. Depending on the device, it would either be the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or the Amazon App Store. And if you're registering on a computer or a laptop, open up a web page and go to hoopladigital.com. From the web page, click Get Started Today. And from the app, click Don't Have an Account, Sign Up to create your Hoopla account. Now type in your email address and create a password that will be associated with your Hoopla account. This username password combination will be used anytime you sign into the Hoopla app or website. Now search for and select Willard Library from the list below. Now type in your library card and PIN number to finish creating your account. The PIN number is typically the last four digits of your phone number. From the Hoopla main page, there are several options. You can browse the content by format or search for something specific like authors, series, or musical artists. You can also browse kid-friendly content by clicking a kids button at the top of your screen. This will only display kids appropriate content. On the app, the kids button is on the upper left hand corner of the screen and on the website, it's on the upper right hand corner of the screen. To turn off kids mode, simply tap on the kids button one more time. Before you start browsing, take a look at the number in the center of your screen. That is the number of borrows you have remaining on Hoopla for the rest of the calendar month. At the first of the month, your downloads will restart and you will have eight more downloads. Be sure to use your downloads as they don't carry over to the next month. You'll notice that my number says seven because I've already checked out an item this month. So let's choose a format so we can continue browsing the collection. I'm clicking on the video tab at the bottom of my screen using the Hoopla app. On the Hoopla website, the Browse tab is at the top of the screen. From here is where you choose the specific format you want to browse. From here, you could choose between movies or television shows from the top of the screen from the Hoopla app. I'm going to choose movies. From here, you could switch between the popular, recommended, and featured tabs, and each will display different content. Now let's say one item interests you. Go ahead and click on the movie cover to view more information about the title. You could read a little description about the movie, and if you decide you like the title, but you want to save it and continue browsing, tap on the favorite or the heart button, and it will save it to your favorites page for later. Now let's click on the search tab in the lower right hand corner of your app. Or if you're using the web page, it's at the top of the screen. Now let's search for the Hunger Games series. As you can see here, the format is listed below the cover of each title. Here, there's an audiobook, a music CD, and an ebook. There are also movies, TV shows, and comics. Be sure to check the format before checking out an item to make sure you're checking out the correct title. Also, please note that each format has a different lending period. Ebooks, e audiobooks, and comics all check out for 21 days. Music titles check out for 7 days, and TV shows and movies check out for 3 days. All items return automatically and do not need to be returned manually. Now let's click on the newest title of the Hunger Games series, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now let's borrow the audiobook. To do that, click on the blue borrow button underneath the title. Another window will pop up telling you this item will be available for 21 days. Click borrow one more time to confirm you want to use one of your eight checkouts for the month. If you plan on listening, reading, or watching your item while you're traveling, you may download the file to your device so you can listen, read, or watch your title on a plane, bus, or car ride. Click download to your device to download the file to your device for mobile use. Now let's click on the My Hoopla tab on the lower left hand corner of your screen. If you're using a computer, the My Hoopla tab is located at the top left of your screen. 
From here, you can view your currently borrowed items, previously borrowed, and favorited items. When you're returning to the app and want to continue reading, listening, or watching, click on My Hoopla and choose from your currently borrowed items and click on the item to open it and resume reading, listening, or watching from where you last left off. Now this covers the very basics of borrowing materials using the Hoopla website and app on your computer or mobile device. If you have any further questions or encounter any error messages while navigating the site or app, feel free to comment below or email me at sjovanovich at willardlibrary.org. Enjoy!